Welcome back, everybody, to another Python programming tutorial. We're looking at the RE module and uh, regular expressions in Python, and we're kind of continuing with our little escapade and uh, wondering why we can't get uh, the backslash, the backslash n, uh, the words here, even even the uppercase b, to be recognized when we're using the caret symbol in regular expressions. So we retrieve the the character. We're using the dot the dot selector to. Um, get any character, one, just one of any character, at the very beginning of the line, at the beginning of our string. We're using the multi-line flag, so it should be able to read both the T at the start of that line and the B at the start of that new line. But for some reason, our programming isn't displaying that. And I have some wonderful news to share with you guys. I have received a private, personal, particular um, other P words message from one of my favorite, absolutely uh, beloved um, watchers and viewers and subscribers. His name is um, no name, uh, no name, no name with two ends. Dumb, dumb butt face, oh nine, and he sent me a private message, personal, particular, uh, penis. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wait, let me let me. Let me edit that out of the video. Uh, he sent me a message saying that he has a wonderful solution to how we can fix this. And he is a genius. He came up with the RE find all. I cannot type. The find all function. You know what this will do? Is it will display everything that the pattern has found in the string. And it's it acts kind of like a global analysis of the string. In this case, our, our program is displaying just one of the occurrences found, just one match that occurs in the string, while find all will return a list of everything that was actually found. So let's 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 just sort of test this out. I'm just gonna actually comment all of this this jazz out over here. And I'm gonna use some um, some quick uh, lines so I I can uncomment that whenever I need to. And let's say we can print out re dot find all, and uh, let's look at this in the documentation. Actually, let's check out re, and let's check out the find all, the find all function. It uses the same order of arguments as the search function, as we did in our in our program, the pattern, and then the string and the flags. Return all non-overlapping matches of pattern and string. Blah blah blah. It's it returns it as a list. So let's check it out pattern string and of course we're going to use the re multi line uh, flag there so let's check this out if we run this program it says we get the capital T which makes sense because it's the first line up here capital T and the capital B which is obviously the first character that we find oh sweet and after the new line right there awesome so why is it that after we find this, I'm going to print out a few new lines. Print new line, new line. If we find both the T and the B, how come only the T is being found in our program? Something is not working well for us. So we'll have to modify that. Let's actually add a little bit of a, of a thing here. Um, You know what we'll do? We'll set up a variable for flags in use, and let's say that can be uh, re dot ignore case. I wonder if that will actually work. Actually, we'll use um multi line. Sorry. And then we can set up uh, flags in use for what we find in find all, and also flags in use for what we're what we're trying to match. So this way, it'll display two things. And let's actually add this to our, our little program here. Print the Python re module testing environment. Found. Let's add a color here. Um, foreground. I'll 
escape this down to a new line so we can see things a little bit better. Mm, there we go. Foreground yellow. Length of. Let's take this find all function. I just lost it actually, dang it. Um, re dot find all. Let's take the pattern, the string, and the flags to use. Flags to use. Flags in use is the name of that variable. Let's say found matches. That's what it's going to equal. And let's say the re, mod, re module testing environment found yellow. This number found matches. Matches. We'll add a uh, bit more to that. They are. We'll add uh, a new line. Let's add color dot. Actually, we should reset our our for foreground here. Foreground dot reset. We don't need to backslash that. Color dot. Mm. Foreground, not color. Sorry. Foreground. Let's say magenta. And then we'll go ahead and print out found matches. And then we'll print out foreground reset. And, uh, yeah, we don't really need these parentheses here. It's good habit to use parentheses for those print statements, but we don't have to have them. And let's see what happens here. Conco cannot concatenate string and integer objects. What line is that? Yep. Let's concatenate, I'm sorry, let's typecast the number, the integer that we're finding when we find the length of the found matches, to a string. Let's say the Python RE module testing environment found two matches, and they are right there. Let's remove that. Uh, let's only use one new line. They are T and B, and then we display, let's see, the match expansion. The ma what do we want to call it? The match highlight looks like. And then we can kind of. Um, it's actually tab. Can we tab that? T plus that. It's not going to tab all the new lines, so I guess I won't bother with that. Looks like that. Let's add a new line right there. Python RE module testing environment found two matches, and they are T and B. The match highlight looks like this. Now in the match highlight, there's only one instance highlighted. What the heck is that for? Well, it's interesting that we've just found not a bug in our program, because it's doing exactly what we want it to, but for some reason, it's not working correctly. But the find all function, it's telling us that we, we the regular expressions are finding two matches. We're just not accounting for it in our display program yet, in the match highlight. So, we got more work to do. <laughs> but for now, we've added a little bit of a, of a bit more, we've added a bit more functionality to our testing environment. Is that it can tell us how many matches we found, and it will let them know what they are outside of the match highlight. And we can just go ahead and see that. The magenta color is a little rough on the eyes. I wonder if I can. See, on. okay, that looks good. Yellow and the blue shades typically look well together. I wonder if I can actually change the blue to cyan. Oh, no, that's way too. That is way too light. Keep it blue. I would almost even use red, so it's much more of a... There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love colors. <laughs> the Colorama module is, uh, is really helpful when you're just playing around in the terminal and learning new things. But 
Okay, I'm all done experimenting. We have something cool here, and it will let us expand this and, and further it soon. But right now, we set up the preliminary step to know that the find all function will give us a better idea of everything that we've really found, and for one thing, it's a good function to know how to use, and it'll explain how we can kind of solve the rest of our match highlight problem in our testing environment. So we've got some good stuff here, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, we'll be looking at how to fix the match highlight problem in the next tutorial. And uh, in the meantime, I hope you kind of like this video, maybe comment on this video, maybe subscribe to me, Root of the Null, but uh, that's all up to you. I don't, I don't want to jam anything down your throat. Thank you for watching, and <laughs> I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thanks, dudes. Bye.